Hey the wrestling fans, it's me, Team Rai host the most, and we are going to do our review of the WWE 2014 Naya Champion live from Nashville, Tennessee. The first thing, my friend is going to introduce himself, and yes, my friend, all his information will be down below. Okay, take it away. Hello guys, my name is WWE Fan to the Teen. If you don't know me, well, I don't blame you because I don't have that much subscribers. But all you have to know about me is I love wrestling, so I know. Okay, the first thing is the pre show. It was the return of Christian. We all know that Christian um, been out for a while, so they had a pre show and he had a special guest. Is Y2J, Chris Jericho, and they'll discuss about old times, I love it, and they discuss about his match with Randy Orton later on that night. So, my friend, Zach, what's your thoughts on the pre-show? It was alright, as, as you said before, I liked how they talked about, like, vitamin C and stuff, which I thought was funny and stuff like that, so... Yeah, and they won tag team belts, and... They had, they had some great chemistry. I love it, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, it kind of pisses me off that Christian gets injured, like, every five months and yeah. stuff. Yep. He's injury-prone. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know if he's getting older. And I, don't, I thought he's going to announce that he's going to retire from the So, thank God that's not the case, you know? Yeah. Um, I really thought that Randy Orton was going to come out and um, RKO both of them, but that was not the case. That would be kind of cool if it did happen, you know? Yeah. Okay, the first match on the card for pay-per-view was, go ahead, once again. Goldust and Stardust versus the Usos. Going Uso crazy on them. Yeah, uh, a couple weeks on Raw, uh, Goldust and Stardust turned heel because um, how the Usos um, did not, um, well, they got disqualified, or right? Because one of the Usos got hurt, correct? Yeah. And they and that's why the Stardust and Goldust turn heel. Now at that time do you like that how Goldust and Stardust turn heel or not really? Yeah, no, it was right for the time. But I think it's still going good. Yes. But I mean it kind of have a way to cheer for Goldust and Stardust in my opinion. I still wanna like get up and cheer for them. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do too and I really like this match. Did you like this match and did you like the ending of it? I did not like the ending, but overall it was a pretty good match because the the end it came the end came up so really fast. Well, not like fast, fast, but like a surprise ending. Like I thought it was gonna like end on like a big finish, but it just ended up in a roll up. Yeah, so. I thought I thought um um Stardust uses finishing move or maybe that like Goldust uses finishing move, but it was a simple roll up. What the hell is W creators thinking these days for crying out loud? But overall, it's a good match. I'm kind of glad that Gold Dust and Stardust finally won the damn gold because the Usos had a belt since March, and usually they just just kill the damn belts down the road. I mean, down the aisle and just uh, have a match on Raw or Superstars or SmackDown. They hardly ever defend the damn belts on pay per view, and that is bullcrap from my point of view. You know? Yeah. So, um, what's the next match in the card? Uh, the next match on the card is Sheamus versus Cesaro, and I picked Cesaro to win, but kind of pissed me off that he didn't win. Yeah. And it was for the U.S. belt. Do you think this match was the match of the night, yes or no? Um, I wouldn't consider the Well, it's in the top of the best matches of the night, but, like, you know, they it was entertaining for what it was. I mean... Two brawlers, two tough guys battling it out. I mean, who wouldn't want to see that? Yeah. Do you? Th how long do you do you think this match lasts? About twenty minutes, thirty minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. How long do you think this match lasts? Well, I mean, on Wikipedia it says it only lasted for thirteen minutes and six seconds. Oh, so I think it should give a, a lot of time. Do you think this is enough time? It's enough time for what they had to put in and stuff. So. Do you think they'll continue the feud, or do you think that was it? Um, 
I can see it going down on the road, but I, I kind of want to see it continue. It's all the good battles, but I mean, also it's kind of a bad thing, too, because it would be more repetition and stuff, so. Yeah, I, I think um, Sheamus needs to drop the belt, but not to um, Antonio, because um, Antonio, I just said it because they used to, they used to call him that, because um, he needs to be pushed to the main event um Roster main event guy because he's young and the other guy he's eventually gonna retire like Cena's gonna retire Before you know it Orton's gonna retire before you know it and other guys are gonna retire before you know it But it's a good match. I love it. I think from my point of view in my eyes is the best match of the night Yeah, um next match The next match was Miz versus well with Damian Miz now yeah <laughs> versus Dolph Ziggler with R Ziggler note that the uh, freaking uh, what what's the guy the guy's name who performed last time last time was uh, Florida Georgia Line where the special guest commentators during yeah. the match, which I didn't like that much because I'm not a fan of Florida Georgia Line. So yeah, I'm not a fan of country. Of course they're gonna do that because it's in the Nashville team that see. So they had to had to use a cheap pop and all that bull crap. They were. I mean, if they're gonna do that, do something with Jerry Lawler. Yeah, they. Oh, Jesus, I know, just a waste of airtime, but whatever. But. It didn't really affect the match, except for when they punched Damian Mizdow. Yeah, but even though it's that, uh, like, our truth you know, because he's not getting a lot of TV time, and Damian, he's not getting a lot of TV time until he's joined forces with uh, the Miz, and uh, eventually they're going to turn on each other, but whatever. It was a good match. I wish it was a little longer. I'm kind of glad that Dolph become new IC champion. It's going to go back and forth. We all know that. Um, yeah. Do you think this feud is gonna um, end, or do you think it's gonna continue months and months and months? No, I don't. I can see it ending at Royal Rumble or Survivor Series. Okay, I agree. Um, um, I, I like this match. Do you think? Do you think this is? Do you like the finishing move? I mean, you like you like how, you like how it ended or no? Um, not really, because it it's, it's not like a surprise kind of not like roll ups left and right. Okay. This day was full of surprises, but like out of higher skill scale. Oh. Okay. Uh, next match in the card. Uh, Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns. So. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Here's my uh, point of view. Yeah. It. Go ahead. Tell everybody. Seth Rollins. Okay. So Seth Rollins is more like he, he's great, but he needs to continue the feud with Dean Ambrose, which he he's doing, what I'm happy about. Yes. And I'm hoping that he could have a Hell in a Cell match with uh, Dean Ambrose. Because how they're acting with Dean Ambrose, like, oh, he's a crazy man. You know, he, he needs to be locked up. No, tell him. Like, have hey, locked up. Hey, Zach, tell everybody what happened at the pay-per-view, you know, um, because he has surgery and all that. So go into detail in that department. I know a lot of wrestling fans know that, but just say it again. Roman Reigns had... A uh, incarcerated hernia, I think, or it has something to do with his intestines, which sucks because the doctor said he's out for six to eight weeks, but uh, Michael Cole says several months, but but Michael Cole overdoes stuff, so yeah. So back to what I was saying about Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose eventually comes out because Roman Reigns lo loses because of forfeit. Yeah. So, Dean Ambrose comes out there fighting stuff, but I'm hoping that since now they're saying, oh, he's a crazy man, when he came out to accept an open challenge, yeah. because Seth Rollins said, I want an open challenge. Okay, you get a challenger. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. And, that was, really just, and it was so predictable because Dean Ambrose, because he was filming a movie, it was all done, and then rumor says Dean Ambrose might come back at Night Jam, and he did, so... It was awesome to see him. He was flying everywhere. He was going through um, um, the security. Jimmy I, Noble, I love Bentley, it. All the jobbers. Yeah, all the freaking jobbers, and it's awesome. And um, I love it. And uh, hopefully it continues because technically they never have a special match because they supposed to have a match at what Battlegrounds and um, yeah, and then it did. They only had the SummerSlam match. That yeah. was it. Yeah. See, and then he had to take some time off because. Make a movie and you know, you know, um, the, the whole uh, evolution, not evolution, the authorities use that center block on Raw, and then that's why Dean Ambrose was out for a while. But we all know that why he took off because he was filming a movie, you know. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, so as I said before, I could see us going into Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell. Because, you know, Hell in a Cell match, remember uh, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose are going to be locked up inside of it with inside the cage and stuff. So, yeah. That's, that's so my I, thoughts I, I, I heard rumors uh, from, uh, from the pay-per-view, I mean, you know, from this past Sunday, they're going to have one Hell in a Cell. So, we'll discuss in a few minutes um, about that. Um, um, yeah, I'm, I had a feeling that Seth Rollins is going to rub in the face about Roman Reigns because he got hurt and all that bull crap, you know? Yeah. So, they want to use that uh, as a um, more heat on him, and it worked. Um, of course, he's going to get a revenge on Seth Rollins uh, when he gets healthy, you know? But hopefully he does not turn heel, you know? Yeah. Okay, what's the next yeah. match? So, the, the next match, Rusev with Lana versus Mark Henry. What's and so... Before the match even started, they had to play the national anthem with Mark Henry sung by Lillian Garcia. Mark Henry starts crying. And yeah, well, I, I love America, but I'm not enough to cry for it. But, you know, you know, Mark Henry can do what he does and stuff. So, so at the ending, Rusev beats Mark Henry, which I thought was a shocker. I thought Mark Henry was going to win because they're building up Mark Henry, supporting America and stuff. Yep. Then Mark Henry like taps out like a, if you don't mind me using the an word, a pussy at mostly. Yeah. Or a puss hey. <laughs> um, and, you know, it kind of makes Mark Henry look weak. And I... I hate that because they build up Mark Henry so much, but I also like it because they're actually going with Rusev. Yep. They, they're like breaking down the wall with Rusev. They're making him become that top guy. He's defeating all these top guys. He defeated Big Show. He defeated, you know, Mark Henry and all that stuff. So, yeah, which I really liked. So, so did you like this match? Do you, or what? what's your thoughts? I I liked it, you know. I don't mind watching it again on the network for only nine ninety nine. Um, so you know, it it was a good match. It was a nice shocking finish. What about you? Uh, it was okay. It could be better, but I think that was the worst match of the night from my point of view. It was just so slow, you know. Hello? Yeah, it was so slow, you know. You there? Zach? Yeah? Okay, what happened? I have no idea. Okay. Anyway, that match was very, very slow from my point of view. It was very boring. And I mentioned this time after time. Two powerhouses like that, sometimes it does not work out, you know? Yeah. So, it was okay match. Nothing really spectacular. Um, What's the next match? The next match was Randy Orton versus Chris Jericho. Now, I listen to Talk is Jericho, which is on podcast1.com and on iTunes for free. And Chris Jericho has publicly stated that this is his last match for a while, which sucks in a, in a bad way because we he only had like a, what, four-month run? Yeah. So, you know, you kind of knew that Orson was going to win because you're not going to give Chris Jericho the win and then have him leave for... You know, another seven months. Yeah, but you never know. You know, anything's possible, but it was an okay match. Um, the build-up kind of sucked. It looked like they just rushed it, you know, because... Two, yeah, they did. two weeks ago... Like, what? It was just two weeks. That yeah, was it. yeah, big deal. And, um, you know, Y2J was talking to smack to Orton. And then, um, because he had a great match with, with the Wyatt, you know, in the cage match. And then Orton beat the crap out of crap out of him in the train room and the rush of his history so it, it was okay match the the booking the storyline kind of sucked but whatever what do you expect for two weeks you know yeah but whatever but he's a part-timer but he's a future hall of famer and that's what i want to say but i like this match i love how they did the rko from what the top right when he was flying yeah that was awesome probably the, that was a great that was a great moment for um that match it, it seems like it happens like only once a year, or only twice a year. We come up, we come up. The about? RKO, yeah, from like out of nowhere. You know, it like happens like every year. Yeah. Like it like it, it feels like it happens. It's not that special anymore. You know? No, not not really. Okay, what's the next match? Uh, 
AJ Lee versus Paige versus Nikki Bella. Triple threat match for the Divas Championship. Now, from my point of view, was Nikki really um, necessary to put in this match? No. He just want to put her in order to uh, mix it up a little bit. But she has her... She did some um, more uh, work, you know. She did some uh, drop kicks and she did some some stuff. But um, I like the part when she said it's over, and then AJ did her move, and and, she, and then uh, Nikki just tapped out the bitch. Say tap out, bitch! And then once again, AJ Lee is a three time three time Divas champion. So what's your thoughts, and do you like the outcome of this match? Uh, for me, this was just a piss break. I didn't give a fine crap about this match, so I didn't really pay attention to this match. Okay. Because it didn't grab me as any other match, so. Yeah. That's just my point of view, so. Yeah, it just makes me mad. It looks like W don't give a damn about the Divas Division because one time, um, AJ has a belt, and another time, Paige has a belt. So make up your mind, W, for crying out loud, you know. If you want to have a long title run like they did for AJ Lee... Make it a good run, you know. For I know Paige, I know Paige is pissed off because it's like a hot potato for Divas Division, you know. Divas belt, you know. Oh, I expected that Nikki Bella was gonna win a little bit, just a tiny bit, just because they haven't really gave the championship to someone part of Total Divas, and yeah. how they build it up to be like Total Divas is like the greatest show of all time. Yeah. Um. What's the next match? The final match was John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. It's the rematch from a SummerSlam. We all know that Brock Lesnar um, did like 16 suplexes, and it was a knocked out, drag out, and that match kind of sucked ass from my point of view. Lesnar just dominated match at SummerSlam. So this is the rematch, like I said earlier. So you kick it off once again, and then I'll give my opinion on it. My opinion? Yeah, on oh. the main event. Um, it was alright, you know. Nothing too spectacular. It's just like the same thing as just before. Yeah. But the ending was shocking, I gotta say. That yeah, I, we, yeah we, we, discussed <laughs> about, we discussed about the um the, the shocking in a few minutes. But did you like this match better than SummerSlam? <laughs> yes or no? Um, it, it had its ups and downs, but I think it was much more... It was more... Shocking than last, than SummerSlam because you all know that Brock Lesnar was gonna win. Yeah. Last and SummerSlam, so so the ending. If you don't mind me starting talking about the ending. Yeah, go ahead. So Seth Rollins, well, they build it up saying that Cena, oh, he had an F the AA once, twice, four F. I was still calling it by its old name, the FU. Yeah. Four FUs. And then they build it up to be like a huge move, which it, it's not that bad of a move, but Cena and um, I forgot how the ending happened, but I know that Seth Rollins came in and then smacked uh, Cena with a briefcase and then obviously he caused like, a disqualification. And so... He beats up Cena, knocks him out. Like, I want to cash in the money, bank, money in the bank briefcase. And so, Justin Roberts makes an announcement. Seth Rollins is cashing in the money bank. So, I thought he was actually going to happen. Because so I thought that Seth Rollins was not going to do it because of Brock Lesnar. Because of how much of a beast Brock Lesnar is. So, then Seth Rollins does, almost hits the... Uh, so, Seth Rollins tries to get in the ring. Cena blocks him from getting in the ring. Same old, same old. AA2, Brock Lesnar, leaves. End of the show. Yeah, but it would be kind of cool that, um, um, Mr. Money Bank, he tried to cash in, um, the bell rang, but it was it. So actually, he, he'll get screwed. Not really, because that's a good thing about the Money Bank. You can, like, tease people saying, oh, I'm going to cash in tonight, or maybe not, you know? Yeah, but. Which I'm, I'm happy about that they're going on with the money in the bank because you usually see people just cash in after two months. Yeah, but um, I still I don't know why he um interfered. I mean, actually, he had no reason to beat the beat the shit out of Cena. One thing, money in the bank, WWE Championship. That's the only reason why. Yeah, you but... get more unexpected. See, saying you have to get the network or buy it on pay per view because you would not know what's gonna happen. Yeah. 
Now, if you guys want to watch this pay-per-view, and if you have the network, it's only nine ninety nine. That's it. It's simple as that. Or you can yeah, ten dollars you can get a Happy Meal with that. Yeah, or you can wait until it comes on Blu-ray DVD. It's up to you. But um, the match was good, the main event. But I just did not like the outcoming, the ending. I know a lot of wrestling fans out there hate the ending. Well, I agree with you. Um, I think the writers and the the what else? The the creators. Especially the creators are dumbasses. Why do you want to have Mr. Money Bank cost uh, John Cena or Lesnar their freaking match? I know John Cena won by DQ. He did not win the damn belt, you know? But, exactly. But I don't think they're assholes. I think that they had this, as I said, I keep on saying this, that they want to tease the money to ink. You don't know when Seth Rollins is going to cash in. My opinion, I think you should hold it till WrestleMania and cash it in at WrestleMania. Oh, that'd be sweet for the first time, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, so, what I said earlier about the Hell in a Cell, I think this is my theory. I think it's going to be John Cena versus Brock Lesnar in the Hell in a Cell because it will be no interference, nothing, until they open that cage up, then it'll be a cash in. Because they said it'll be a one Hell in a Cell cage match, not like they did in the past, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we'll find out what's going to happen. I could be right, I could be wrong. So overall, and and that's hell on a I mean, not hell on a Overall, a night of champion, Piri, what's your thoughts overall? I thought it was a pretty good event. You know, the it, the only thing that besides it is that it felt like another Raw. Yeah. Because now Raw has three hours for the past year and stuff. And it just feels like another show. Yep. And look like they didn't put no effort in that stage. So I hopefully... I, mean, I don't really... I care about the stage, but I do not really. Yeah. Because, I mean, what's the main po- purpose of a pay per view to see the wrestling? So. Yeah, that's, that's true. But opinion. but you want you want a um a look. You look like they didn't put no effort. They, they they have pyro, but that's it. But that's about it. But it was a decent card. Not the best show, but it was a okay. I'm not gonna say holy shit moments. You know what I'm saying? It was it was yeah. a okay show. But um, you want to see anything else before we end this podcast? Um, I like titties. Oh, 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 dude, this is uh, PG now. PG, I'm not TV fourteen. Hello, I'm just kidding. Oh, fine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, that's about it. His Twitter, his YouTube will be down below. So check him out. He's a cool guy. And if you want to uh, Skype with him, you can ask him on Twitter. So that's about it. The tag team champions out here. Thanks you very much, Zach, to come on board. Yeah, whatever. God. Okay, everyone, have a good one. And my friends who I mentioned earlier, Justin and Britton, hopefully you guys get well soon. Peace out, my friends. Thank you. Later.